Hello and welcome to the February edition of this month's experiment from the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center in San Diego, California. I'm Nicole Schiffer. And I'm Brandon Elliott. How are you, Nicole? Good, thank you. We are standing in our exhibit called Blockbusters, where you can make really cool ducks and castles. Uh, we've even made the Empire State Building here. Very cool. Pretty cool. Have we named this bird? Bird's the word. Oh, dear. Okay. All right. So, bird's going to go away, and then we'll get started. Okay, sounds All good. Right. All right, so we're back. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making windmills. windmills. Yes, windmills. I'll explain what you're going to need as always, but just remember you can find a list of all the materials on our website, www.rhfleet.org. There you go. Thank you. All right, so the first thing you're going to need is a template for your windmill. You can find this on our website. You can just print it out, cut it out at a later time. You're going to need some scissors, a straw. Where's our straw? Right there. There's a straw. Okay. Uh, some yarn, some pennies for, for, weight. for weight, stuff like that, a paper cup, okay, rubber bands, we have a pencil, a single hole puncher, and finally a skewer, and you can pick these up at places like stores, grocery stores, places like that. Yep, and okay. thumbtacks. Thumbtacks. And parental supervision. Always. Cool, thank you. All so right. let's get started. You're going to take your template and actually cut it out. Uh, so it should be a square, and you're going to cut along the solid lines, like so. And once you cut all of those, you're actually going to hole punch the outside around each corner. You're just going to follow the template. It'll be really, really clear when that's printed out. And then there's a hole in the center that you're going to want to actually cut out, but the easiest way to do it is take the thumbtack, go through the center, and start the hole really easy. Maybe have a parent do it, right? And then once you've created that hole for it, you're going to take your pencil and create the full hole. Take your time, make sure it looks nice and everything like that. It should look something like this in the end. So I have uh, four diagonal lines, a hole in the center, and four holes on the corners. Then uh, according to your template, you need to fold. The dotted line means fold. Those are from my origami days. And uh, we're just going to fold along the dotted line. Fold, fold, fold. Hopefully this will be a windmill in the end. It looks nice. Thank you. All right, and then what you're gonna do is there's that center hole, right? You're gonna put the straw through the center hole. All right. Take some teamwork Gotta here. Gotta make sure the hole is big enough when you do this at home. That sure Let's makes sense. And don't push it all the way through, push it just a little bit through. Okay, there we go. All right, and then you're gonna take each corner and uh, put it through the straw. So all of them end up folding into the straw. And this will create the fan for our windmill. Windmill. It's very nice. Thank you. All right. Oh. Okay, so it should look something like this. And to secure it on there, you're actually going to put rubber bands around it. So you should end up with something that looks like this. So we have our windmill shape and the rubber bands holding it together. Then we're gonna put the skewer through it, like so, and go ahead and blow on it. Whoa, wow, that worked really well. Cool, so what's going on here so far? Well, thank you. I'm, do, do you know how wind works, actually? Just, how does wind it's work, It's kind of cool. So, Wind is actually motion. air, air in motion, it's moving. And okay. so what we get, especially here in San Diego, but in other places you get this phenomenon where the air actually heats up at a different rate over land than it does mm -hmm. on water. And as you know, hot air rises, mm -hmm. right? right? So when hot air rises and we get our land mass to warm up, the air above us, the cool air from the water actually kind of rushes in to take its place. Okay. Because something's got to come in and take the place of that air that's rising up. So that's what happens when we get wind off of the water. Now at night, the kind of, the, it kind of reverses right, basically, right. so you know the water is actually the opposite of what the land was during the daytime, so the wind tends to go out that way. So cool. that's pretty much how it works. And so what scientists are actually trying to do is they're obviously, you know, with global warming and all the climate change and everything going on, they're trying for alternative, alternative energy sources, exactly. Energy. So they're trying to harness the power of the wind with windmills to actually create new, new energy for us so we don't have to burn fossil fuels and things like that. Great, great. So let's create a task for our windmill to complete like they might do. Right. 
so instead of a factory or something. Right. Like that. So go ahead and hold this. And that works really, really well. I'm very impressed by this. Thank you. But you know. So we're gonna have our uh, windmill pull up a bucket, okay, with weight. And we actually we have an um, an exhibit on alternative forms of energy called So What. That's right. It's very interesting. So you're gonna take your bucket, hole punch both sides, then you're gonna take a piece of string, um, probably about a foot long, but I'm gonna estimate here. You're going to put your string through the holes of the bucket, because you're gonna to want to be able to. Once again, pull pennies up with your windmill. And then go ahead and tie it, like so. All right, so I have a knot above. I have kind of like a, a triangle formed with a string. And what I'm going to do is, on your straw part, you're going to wrap the string around twice. And then tie it. I'm just doing kind of like a shoelace tie. So what turbines do in actuality is actually store that energy. So we're actually simulating what it could do with the energy, right? Right. So go ahead and so it's gonna blow on the windmill. And there we oh go. Oh my goodness. It's working, it's pulling up the bucket. Look at that. I think wind energy works really well. Hey. Look at that. So you let's try to give it a our exhibit. Right, there you go. So let's try to give it a task. Let's try to simulate it actually doing some work okay. for us because that's what we really need. We need, you know. So we don't want to just to pull up the bucket, it needs to pull up some more weight, right? Right, so, so that's why pennies. we have our pennies. So how many them. pennies do you think it can pull up? Let's we try, have an abundance, so. Yeah, well let's try, let's try three for now, just okay. a couple. There they go. One, two, and three. All right, let's see if I can let's do try this. It. <laughs> All right. Oh, nice. There we go. So Look we have that. three. Three, okay. Let's try a couple more. Let's see how many I'm we can gonna get. I'm going to put in... Pretend it's a very windy day. This is great. 20. 20. Exactly 20. All right, here we go. Let's About see. About 20. <gasps> how windy is it in the building? <laughs> Hurricane, oh boy. Wow, that's not enough okay. there. Yeah. Cool. But, but that basically you shows You keep what's... testing it out, right? Yeah. To see what, how much your... Um, wind turbine right, can exactly. pull, right. so. and ours couldn't pull 20, but it could pull 3, so. There you go. Cool. Probably somewhere between 20 and 3 is our limit for this, so. It's really cool. I mean, what's basically happening is the wind is being slowed down by the, by the, uh, by the blades here. Okay. And the blades, when they turn, it basically turns it into, like you said, kinetic energy. Well, that was really fun experimenting with our wind turbine. Yeah. And so what's going on with the blades? What's so special about them? Well, what's, what's happening is that the blades are actually slowing the wind down and it's actually creating kinetic energy. The blades are actually moving. So the wind goes up these blades here. They're actually shaped in what's called an airfoil, just kind of like a plane. It's creating lift. Okay. The lift causes the blade to turn. Great. And that's what creates the kinetic energy. Now what happens on a larger scale in a larger windmill mm -hmm. is we have the energy that's transferred to an electric generator that can be, as you said, stored or stored. put to use immediately. So that's what we're trying to do one day. Great, what a fun experiment okay. and a fun way to explore alternative forms of energy. It's very cool. Thank you viewers at home for watching. Tune in next month for this month's experiment. And remember, do, do try, try this, this at, at home. home. This one really works. Try it.